Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a reaction video to Caitlyn Bennett's Inside the Mind of a College Student and particularly I think these might be female mostly but the topic is on abortion. Um, this topic is very personal to me and we'll get into that later but without further ado let's go ahead and watch Caitlyn. <laughs> I said, if I need to kill a baby that's inside me, then I'm going to. Why would you be so open about wanting to kill a baby? You recognize that it's a baby. Okay, and I can do it if I want to. If, if I don't need it in me, and it was there not in my choice, then oh well. Yeah, let's get the mic. So where's your mask? You want to be on public property? What happened to the mask wall? My body, my choice. Oh, your body, your choice? Okay, so abortion, my body, my choice, right? You have two heads? I have one head, do you see it? If you see it, I don't know what's inside of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shit was funny because... I'm sorry, I don't know where she was going with that. That's why it's funny. Two heads, I can eat glasses. If you think this is my body, my choice, right? You it's not your body. body this is my body. Yeah, my Can you body, have a real choice. conversation without okay, screaming? Okay. Calm down like my 10 body, knots. My body, let's my let's go underneath the thing. Okay. You can come with me. Wait, didn't she just say call the cops and she has a Black Lives Matter mask on? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys believe in defunding the police and they're out there killing people? Are you risking my life? Are you risking my life by calling the cops? Don't you guys chant that people, the police are out there killing people? Black Lives Matter. Yeah, you're, you're wearing the mask of an organization. Make America great again, cult. Right? That's what you have. I wrap that mega proud, baby. Ultra mega big. <laughs> that cult isn't going around burning cities. Guess what? Let's call it, let's call it a cult. Let's call it a cult. Let's call it a cult. Why isn't Trump's cult around and tearing down cities? Why are, why are Trump supporters lying things on fire? You know, it's interesting that she says that MAGA, um, which, you know, I'm not going to lie, when the phrase first was coined, I um, had some thoughts about what it truly meant. I'm not going to lie. I didn't vote for Trump in 2016. I definitely wasn't going to vote for Hillary. You know, that bitch killed Hillary Clinton. But um, it's interesting how she considers us a cult, but um, you have these individuals who seem to want to chill, kill children in a very religious fashion and they seem to have grown a huge cult of women who don't even acknowledge that at some point they can't even i guess in their mind they can't see how a heartbeat can turn into uh, it was, well, it's pretext to, I, I believe, what constitutes someone to being a human being, but yet you have these individuals who have grown a huge cult over killing little people, basically, while they're still in the womb. Anyway, let's get back to this. Black Lives Matter Why aren't they? It's a right Yes, it is. It's a cult. It's a terrorist organization. They're a terrorist organization. What do you say? What do you believe in? Let's see. Do you think all lives matter? Absolutely. Well, no, not all lives. Not pedophiles. They don't matter. Rapists don't matter. Uh, child predators don't matter. I would say drug traffickers don't really matter either. So if all lives matter, wouldn't black lives be a part of it? Oh, absolutely. If all lives matter, wouldn't that also include babies? and Or, I'm sorry, fetuses with a heartbeat that have the opportunity to live? Shouldn't their lives matter? Shouldn't their well-being to at least get to be born in society, shouldn't that matter? Like, these people... You agree Black Lives Matter? Well, if Black Lives are a part of it, why are you chanting about abortion when 400,000 black babies are murdered every year? Why are you... Where'd you get abortion from? We were just you were just talking about abortion. And you want to say you, you believe in... Hit it on the head. Black Lives Matter. I do. Yes. So why don't you support ending and abolishing this policy, this this criminal action of abortion that ends 400,000 black lives every year? My body, my choice. Like you said earlier, my body, my Do you have 20 fingers? 
No, I have 10. Do you have 20 fingers? No. A baby inside of your body has 10. One week. Wow. When is it? Wow. When is it alive? Does it have a choice? It's in my stomach, right? Have you heard about the life found on Mars? The what? The life found on Mars. Have you heard about it? No. The bacteria that was found on Mars. I don't care. Do you think that would be considered life on Mars? I don't know because I don't know about it. I, I, you would. You would consider that bacteria found on Mars would be life, life on Mars. So then why? My own eyes, I'm not going to believe it. So you've never heard in the past, you know, decade that there's been life found on Mars through bacteria? No, because I don't care about it, honestly. Would you consider that life on Mars and be a really good thing? I don't care. You know, you're not saying you don't care because you know it's a silly argument to say bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. A heartbeat? Who, does it have a choice? Do they have a choice? They're my stomach. They're my child. They can't talk yet. So, if you, I don't think... So, your humanity depends on if you can talk. No, because babies can't talk, right? No, neither can people in comas, but they're still people. They're still people. In the, in the, Oh my gosh, you said even people in coma. What, Caitlin? That was a shark comeback. A baby in your womb, a baby in anybody's womb is still a person. No, I don't agree with that. What are they then? They're, they're fetus. Of what? They're your fetus. You have sex. You're, you want to have sex. The baby goes into you and that's it. If you don't want to. So you admit it's a baby. What else are you supposed to call it in your stomach? It's a baby. It's a human. A it's, it's, it's a, a baby, baby human. human. It's a fetus, fetus of a human. human. No. What else is it going to be? It's a fetus. Of? It's a, it's a fetus. <laughs> of a human. It's a human being inside of you. The DNA there is completely human. It's no other thing. It can't be any other thing. It's a human. Why doesn't their life matter? They aren't a human fully, they aren't fully grown yet. They're still a fetus. So a baby isn't fully grown. That, a fetus? Are they fully grown? Is he? Was he, was he born like that? Hmm, let me think. I don't no, know. he wasn't. He was born as an infant and then grew into a toddler and then grew into a child, an adolescent, a teenager, and then an adult. And then eventually, he's going to be an elderly human being. I'll tell you one thing. He grew up to be a sexy-ass adult. An old man. He's going to be walking with a cane eventually in a wheelchair, probably. But every stage of his life I just described that he will go through or has gone through, he was always a human, a fetus, an embryo. The zygote, those are all stages of human development. There is no question about that. Okay. Are you conceding? That okay, so like, you know, everything that Caitlin is saying, that is something that everyone has, if, if they've gone to school here in America, have had this fundamentally taught to them in biology. They have had to, like, come on. You know, this is all a part of, of a cycle that, is that of the human development, like the human of uh, development of a human being. So for those who always talk about the whole heartbeat thing and a lot of individuals who try to discard the whole heartbeat argument, when a fully grown adult stops, their heartbeat starts or they stop breathing, the first thing anyone would want to do would be to resuscitate them, to bring them back to life. So hence, it would be logical to say that that person is alive or else why be so concerned over whether or not their heart is beating? The heart is the, basically the center of what, I mean, if it, the heartbeat is literally essentially the engine of, the, of a human body, if it, if it stops, if it's kaput, if it, it doesn't function anymore, that person is lo no longer alive, in my opinion. So when I imagine, um, in, you know, in the process of a fetus growing into um, a baby, once that heartbeat stops, I mean, it starts, it starts the cycle of pumping out all the nutritions, essentially sucking it from, uh, not really, I want to say sucking it, but taking its nutrients that it needs from its mother and working in a way to provide nourishment to themselves without that heartbeat circulating the bl their blood. They wouldn't grow. They wouldn't grow. They wouldn't, like, they just wouldn't grow. They wouldn't even get to the stage where they can, you know, crawl out their 
be pushed out of their mama's, you know, cavity. So, like, I, I, I can't understand how people, you can, how people contest that once a heartbeat um, is found in a fetus, that that still does not mean that they're a human. It just, to me, logically doesn't make sense. But let's go back and listen to what this girl has to say. That a baby in the womb has protections because they are a human. No. What would it take to get you to realize that we shouldn't be poisoning and ejecting babies from the safety of their womb? It's, all I gotta say is my body, my choice. Because if I wanna abort a baby, I can. There's no issue. So you admit it's a, it's a baby, it's a human in there. A fetus, a baby. Of a, a human. You admit that. It's a fetus, no. No. You do know that. You do know it. And that's why you have this nasty attitude. This is why you're being condescending in the womb. You are wrong. I'm wrong. I'm then prove me wrong. I'm prove me wrong. And rude. Prove me wrong that that's not a baby. I'm just talking to you. What happened to not yelling? I was being rude when I was yelling. I'm not yelling now, right? No, you're just uh, justifying the genocide of a million people every year in this country. That's pretty rude, if you ask me. How am I justifying that? Because justifying abor abortion kills a million people every year. right? Because it kills people. Okay, so why don't you agree with one police? Which is the reason why we say Black Lives Matter. Because you saw Breonna Taylor, she died. Where's the police officers that killed her? Having fun. Okay, what about George Floyd? He died. What did he what? Oh, for what? What did, what did, what did, what did he die from? The knee was on his neck. Cut. That's what he died from? Yeah, because he couldn't breathe no more. I think you're going to be really upset in trial when the court courts come out, and that's not what he died from. Oh, okay. So the knee was on his neck. Breonna Taylor, what, what? Have you watched the body cam footage where he was screaming, I can't breathe, before they even put him on the ground? Oh, I saw the body cam footage, and he couldn't breathe. Once you say you can't Why couldn't breathe, he breathe? So why can't he breathe? Say he can't breathe. Don't you think you should stop constraining him to let him breathe? He said that before no, he was even on the ground. Him, don't you think? Right? Because you're white. This bitch, okay, okay, oh man. I've seen that video. This man was definitely saying that he can't breathe before the cops did that. Okay? He definitely said that. So it would logically, in my mind, I would assume that maybe something was wrong with him before the cop even did, you know, put his neck on his knee on his neck. And, you know, maybe I'm not saying that didn't possibly contribute to his death, but this man was saying on camera, it's irrefutable at this point that he couldn't breathe long before the whole incident and this girl just doesn't want to admit it. It's like either she didn't watch the video and she's just talking and regurgitating points that other people have said, or she's just, she's purposely being ignorant. I'm not, I look white, I'm Spanish, but- How do you know I'm not Spanish? Girl, we know. Don't assume, don't assume. Oh, girl, we know. George Floyd was saying, I can't breathe before they put his, the knee on the neck. Okay, that is a lawful restraint by that, by that police department. Is the that is lawful. Is correct? Is that right? If it's, in, if it's in there, if it's a restraint, it might be. It might be. It might be. He, how do you know he died from the knee on the neck? You saw the body cam footage, right? Did you see the body cam footage? Oh, yes, I did. And you know and that he know. said, I can't breathe before they put the knee on the neck. And they still said it. He still said it while it was on the So if he was dying, he couldn't breathe from the knee on the neck. Why was he saying it before he was even on the ground? How should I know? It doesn't matter. It's still wrong. It matters to accuse someone of murder when they may have not murdered someone. Like I was saying earlier, how come, what's the issue exactly? Where am I? She has one. I want to mention that a lot of these people are feminists or liberals, they're out here super pro leftists. They claim my body, my choice, yet they're mad. Holy crap, wait, there's a social distancing gathering limit here on campus? There's more than 12 people gathered. What are you guys doing? You're killing people out here. Everybody's going to die. There's more than 12 people out here. There's a policy on campus. I love it when she points out their hypocrisy, their double standards. It's like, look, this is all about control. You want people to control 
Uh, and you know what? You're just never going to control Caitlyn because she's a bad bitch. She's a baddie. And <laughs> y'all just mad. <laughs> that students cannot gather in groups more than 12, yet they're out here. Look at them! This is why it's so important to support my work at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. Because of your support there, because of your donations there, I'm able to hire this team of people who will not let these violent, radical leftists and Black Lives Matter terrorist organizations supporting people out here to hurt me. You notice no one's touching me? No one's being super aggressive? It's because of these people, and I need you to support me at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett to continue to bring them out here with me. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I said, if I need to kill a baby that's inside me, then I'm going to. Why would you be so open about wanting to kill a baby? You recognize that it's a baby. Okay, and? She's like so proud of that. Like how can you possibly be proud of kill? If you can be that proud of killing a baby, then you can be proud of killing anybody. You can be pr proud of killing, uh, being part of genocide. And, and, and to be honest, these individuals when they have, when they sit down and see the number of abortions that have been had here in America, you can't sit here and tell me that that isn't a form of genocide. It's just with infants. It's infanticide. We are no better. We are no different than what the Germans did over there in Nazi Germany, trying to eradicate and extinguish a whole group of people. Like, like if you can do this you very much can round up people, put them in concentration camps, and have them just ex exterminated. You really can. I believe wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly that this individual is capable of it. Look how happy she is. She's just so... <sighs> Let's continue. I can do it if I want to. If, if I don't need it in me, and it was there not in my choice, then oh well. So what if there's a two-month-old out there? Would you be upset that someone says, I don't need it in my space, I don't need it in my life? Would you be upset that someone, let, let, let's have a conversation, okay? Why does it matter? Hold on, one second, one second, I'm talking to you. You're bragging about going and killing a baby. Maybe you would do that in the future. You're bragging about it. I'm not bragging about it. I'm just saying, you're putting all these people down. If one of them gets raped and they become pregnant, then they the can do it if they want. The extremes of this. No one who gets raped is going to want to... If someone's that adamant about dealing with it and it because it happened as a result of rape you really seriously think they're going to wait all the way till the last trimesters and possibly until they give birth i mean if i'm not mistaken wasn't new york trying to pass a law in which someone a, a woman can give birth out um, give birth and if there's defects or whatever they can legally abandon it and have it die. Like, I don't think people who who gone through such a traumatic experience of being raped or have going through incest is going to wait that long to, I'm sorry to say this, but to deal with it in this manner and to use those individuals, these extreme cases to justify, you can't like just, just, just to justify blanket abortion for all, for all abortion unlimited it's wrong and it's just i don't know i don't know what it is it's demonic i don't know what the hell it is but it, it ain't right it ain't, it's not human it's something else i don't know what it is so do you it's not your choice it's not your body do you do whatever you want to i get it if you want to keep the baby go for it but it's my body and it's my choice so do you think abortion is wrong in every other aspect because you're using the rape argument. Can we agree that abortion is wrong? No, because guess what? I have a boyfriend. Let's say I become pregnant with his kid. And guess what? I'm too young to have a kid. I'm not mature enough to do it because I'm still in college. Well, at least she's self-aware enough to know that she's not mature enough to have a baby. And I'm like, look, she's not that, you know, I'm just saying she are, you know, and Matt Gates, he wasn't lying when he said a lot of these women who are, pro-abortion, they really aren't that attractive enough to even want to impregnate. So, 
I wouldn't be surprised if her boyfriend left her ass for a hotter chick later down the road after he done ran a few miles on her because I'm sorry, with that kind of mentality and you're saying it out loud, there's no way if I was a man, I would ever, ever, ever let you be, have the, have the, um, the privilege of being the, you know, the mother of my children, period. Not with that fucking attitude, period. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of it. And then when I'm older and I want to start a family, then that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to do it now. It's my body. When you say you get rid of it, what are you doing? I'm disposing of it so that it's not in me anymore. So you're killing it. I'm, I mean, it's not alive, so I'm not you can't killing even, it. You can't, if you can't even fucking say it, then don't do it. You're, you're, if you're going to do that, then say exactly what... It is. You're going to murder slash kill your baby. You can't even utter those words. You're fucking, oh, man. How is it not alive? Um, okay. Have, yeah. I'm sorry? It sells. It's not born yet. It doesn't breathe. It doesn't eat. It gets fed through a tube. So when a person dies, are they no longer a person? When they die? Yeah, they're not living anymore. But are they still a person? What? I'm sorry. Are they still a person? Are they still a person? They were a person. So when someone dies, so when someone dies, they're no longer a person. They were a person. They are not anymore. What determines... So I, now I'm like really curious about that logic because I'm pretty sure these people, these dead people have funerals. <laughs> Oh, what, what, oh, how would they explain that? Like, how can you, oh my God, these people, how could you possibly say that when a dead person dies, they're no longer a person, but when they have their eulogies, I'm pretty sure they're not going to talk about this person as if they're some inanimate object. They're going to refer to them as a person, this individual. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Men's personhood. They're born, they're living, they, they do things, they think, they eat, they drink, but a baby doesn't. When so it it's living when it's born. Yeah. So are women just carrying around dead babies in their room? Yeah, um, I'm about to get my period next month and guess what? It means there's a baby and it wasn't fertilized? That's not what that means. That is not what that means. It's not yet. It's the same thing. A period is a shedding of your uterus. Your uterine lining is shedding because there is not a fertilized egg in there. Right. right. So whether it's you talk, you don't even know what a period is. Wow. I get them. I've gotten them for six years now. I think I know what a period is. No, she doesn't. This girl clearly clearly doesn't know what a period is because this is this is basic biology that's taught to you. Why do you have your period? You have your period because when your little the egg flows down your fallopian tube and it's not fertilized, where it can plant itself inside of your uterus well guess what it fucking flows out and your uterus lining sheds like this is one-on-one -on -one biology when it comes to women how can they call themselves a feminist and not even know this shit like this <laughs> but what i'm saying is if it hasn't come out yet and it's not born it doesn't matter what about the day before it's born the day before it's born it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Why? What determines life? What determines it? My brain, my thinking, and my choice. If you want to do it, if you want to get rid of, don't want to get rid of it, and you want to keep it, go for it. But that's your choice. It's not mine. I have to ask though. Yeah. If you're using the logic of your brain determines when someone's a person and you can do what they want with it, what is stopping anybody from using that same logic to kill you right now? It could be in someone's brain that you're not a person. We have to be. We have. To, hold on. We have to be able to apply that logic to people who are already Everywhere. born. That's a very dangerous way to think. Yes. Because that is not what is happening out here. People are people, no matter how small, no matter what stage in their are development. Are people with for gay? Would you like, can you tell me that though? Dead people are still people. No, I didn't say dead, I said gay. Gay? Yeah. Yes, there's gay people what out the there. Are they people in your, in what you consider people? Yes. They are. Is that why you got your boyfriend to be converted? I don't have a boyfriend. I mean, your husband, excuse me. My husband know. was never at conversion therapy. He was never at conversion therapy? dossier basically what they do is reproduce the high-end sense oh, would that bother you if he was no because i love gay people i don't awesome awesome just like i don't give a shit they do anything to their body it's not me okay so this just 
this just hurt for the weird okay i i i'm like so now we're if caitlin considers dead people people why the fuck wouldn't she con and she considers baby to be babies to be people or a uterus i'm sorry and a fetus that um that will you know, eventually turn into a baby and then be born and turn into, um, you know, go through all the other stages of um, uh, what a human being will go through. If she considers them people, why wouldn't she consider gay people people? And then this bitch just literally, I think it's because, I think she, the only reason why she did that is to change the topic, like just to change the subject. Like, girl, like, I, I get it. I have ADHD too. <laughs> but, I mean, everything seems to... You know, a lot of a lot of times, every like I try to keep my thoughts at least in the same domain. And what the fuck does gay people have to do with life and death? And using those two to determine whether or not, or to you know, not really determine, but to get a, an opinion across. I want to say it is opinion, but to give to help her understand the logic that it doesn't matter whether the person is in the form of a fetus or has now died and is in their casket. That is the whole, all those stages that that person had to go through. That's a part of the human development, which means that some, which means irrefutable that that person is human. They, that human is a person, no matter what stage, whether it's a teenager, whether it's their, their old person, whether they're a baby, whether they're freaking a fetus. Like, what the fuck does being gay have to do with any of those fucking stages? They don't. Like, way to, way to flip the topic, dude. Like, way. Yes, question. What would it take for you to not support the genocide of a million people every year in this country? Girl, you want to talk about genocide? Go talk about how black people are getting killed for no reason. How many? Go talk about the Muslims who are in camps. How many? Go talk about genocides that have happened. But this Let's is talk genocide. about genocide. A million people. I want to talk with you about genocide because I don't think you're like informed on the topic. I have numbers. I have statistics. You have not given me a number yet. Okay, I don't need to give you numbers. There are other genocides other than abortion. But why don't they matter? Because there are people who are killing people for no reason. People like, like people killing unborn babies for no reason. 97% of abortions are done because they just don't want it. It's not because of rape. It's not because of incest. It's not because of income. How many? How many? How many abortions are committed because of rape? I'm not a rape like genius i don't know but you're a pro abort but she she sure has a lot to say for someone who doesn't have stats she sure has a lot of conviction in what the hell she is saying or her should say her rhetoric that she's saying but she won't even back it up with facts she won't even back it up with stats at least caitlin's coming with something if you're gonna if you're gonna like be in a debate with her or refute her her uh, opinions you at least need to come with the fire i'm just saying How many babies are killed because of rape? I don't know. Point, it point zero, it does matter. Point zero five percent of abortions are committed because of rape. That's that's what it is. Point zero five percent. Ninety-seven percent of abortions are committed because the woman just doesn't want it. That's what's happening in our country. That's what's happening in our country. To watch that interaction in its entirety, uncut and uncensored, go to libertyhangout.tv. We have behind-the-scenes footage and a lot more coming out of this trip. Go to libertyhangout.tv. Well, this is what I'm going to see all about, you know, you know, this crap. When I see individuals or, you know, when I see women in particular talk about this topic, I do believe that they're just uninformed, being wild and dumb and young. And I get it. I was dumb and young too. And I did myself have a, have an abortion, but I had it, you know, extremely young. Um, and I, to this day, I do think about how old and, you know, how things could be with 
the baby had it turned into an adult and what my relationship would be like. I knew that if I, I didn't want to be traumatized by the experience. So I went and had my abortion extremely early in my trimester. Um, I was, I wasn't prepared and I know that's not an excuse, but I, like I said, for the love of God, to me, when I hear a heartbeat or when I know a heartbeat is presented, there's no way I could have gone through with that because of what I said earlier. If someone gets, you know, I don't know, electrocuted or something like that and their heart stops, you know, of course you want to bring them back to life. That obviously constitute that they must have been alive to begin with in the first place. So for me, it would have been extremely hard for me to go through with something like that because at some point, logically in my mind, I do believe that it starts in my mind. I, I will I will give, you know, the Republicans that when it comes to the heartbeat law that they pass, if you know, I, I will at that point constitute that there is life. So when I hear these women speak and um, trying to advocate that this should the 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 ability to have an abortion should be extended into their second and your third trimester and even at some in, uh, on for some instances um, like twenty days after you have given birth I think uh, for me it just um, disgusts me I can't live with it I I can't look at them I can't. I can't fathom it. I can't understand it because if you can do that, if you can kill someone who has a heartbeat, you can kill any, if you can kill someone who has a heartbeat and they're a baby, you can kill someone who has a heartbeat no matter at what stage of their life. And I, 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 I don't, like I said, I hope that people, these young women, never have to go through an experience like that or have to actually go through the ordeal. You know, it does fuck you up later on in life. I would say as far as like trying, like thinking would I ever admit this to a future partner? I don't know if I would ever admit this to a future partner. I mean, now it's on, you know, TV for the whole world to see, but, um, I've never, let's just say I have limited the lengths of my relationships while being in school because I didn't want to have to admit this. I know that I, that topic that would come up sooner or later. And um, if I am really in love with a guy, of course I'm going to let him know. I don't ever want to keep that away from them, especially if I'm going to be living you know, they're going to be in my life for the rest of my life, but you know, you can go check out Caitlin's channel, Liberty Hangout. I think she's a really cool girl, great head on her shoulders and, um, definitely, uh, definitely a fighter. So until next time, have a good day. <laughs>